It's time to take it back to 2004 once again, everyone. You can hear Usher on the radio, dominatingly so, it seems. We have Maroon 5 making music. Rock exists. Country music wasn't entirely unlistenable, though it was on its way there. Beyonce was just beginning her solo career, and radio was ready to hit the club. It's now many years later, and things are vastly different. So in order to show us how far we've come and changed over the years, I give us the juxtaposition of the past versus the present each September. Just like I do every year around this time of year, I do a little throwback to times of old, and they seemingly are often songs from 2004, so let us see just how far we've come by taking a look at Usher. Yeah! I'm sorry, I had to... I am sure, for those who grew up and were around back then, I do not need to introduce to you who Usher is. But for the ones who don't know, Usher was the king of the radio around the early to mid-2000s, especially during the Confessions era. You could not escape him. His dominance continued with the single we shall be taking a look at today. Yeah! But yes, Confessions was a seemingly massive cultural touchstone of the time. It is hard for me to explain just how massive this album was, for there hasn't been much like it since. It seemed every song off the album would touch multi-platinum in mere moments and top the charts in America at the same time. R&B was also massive at the time, much like rap is today. Oftentimes, R&B would cross itself with rap or pop to make massive hits. Usher seemed to master this back in 2004, as all but one single from the album went to number one, the other peaking at eighth place. So what song started off this chart dominance? The lead single, Yeah! Featuring Lil Jon and Ludacris. I know it may seem odd to think about now, but back in 2004, we went to these things called clubs and got crunk. Music videos always made it seem like a blast and there seemed to be a lot of close social contact and dancing galore at these parties in the club. That is something that seemed to go away on the radio after 2010 likely helped by certain economic downturns and also the tiring out of the subject by years of clubbing. Sure, there is still dance hits to this day, but not to the same heights as times past. But this is aside the point. Back in 2004, we all seemed to be either rocking out to the latest in rock or were yee-hawing to country music, which was oddly mainstream at the time. But most of all, we were partying it up at the club. Lil Jon and Ludacris serve as the side acts of this dance track, and the beat, as Ludacris will have you know, will make your gluteus maximus go. They really work well as the track's hype men, and certainly do give the song a blast of energy. The song itself is a hip-hop record mixed with R&B and crunk, or as the producer Lil Jon called it, crunk and B. Crunk being the more dance and club-oriented version of southern hip-hop of the time. As the song is not one for much lyrics, and is more for the dancing, the lyrics are sparse, but the ones that do exist speak of Usher and his homies hitting it up at the local club, and a woman leads him to the dance floor, and they seem to have quite the blast. The conflict of the song continues as she dirty dances with Usher. This leads Usher to think about if he wishes to have long-term relations with this woman, or have a singular night stand. Meanwhile, Luda and Lil Jon both contemplate about the sexual positions they envision these females to make as they simultaneously call dancers to the floor and continue the hard night of partying. Many posteriors indeed go this night. So with the plot and story arc complete, let us move along to the conclusion now, shall we? Conclusion. What are my thoughts on the song? My thoughts are the beat most certainly is a solid one, and it has the energy and ability to make one get down onto the dance surfaces of the world and unleash their inner beast. It is perhaps one of the most solid beats of the century thus far. Who can't enjoy it? I also enjoy the song has more than one lyric, as most dance songs seem to. It has a storyline to it, a bit of a cliche one for the dance genre, but it's at least better than nothing. Via these facts, this song gets a solid A plus from me. It stood the test of time, and it certainly remains stuck in my head 16 years later. Wow, that does indeed make me feel old. I still enjoy the song regardless. 
Do I look forward to more from the artist? Well, Usher himself is actually coming out with a sequel to Confessions at some point. It has been on hold due to certain world events, but it is an anticipated release. Usher may not hold the same sway over the radio as he once had, but I still look forward to what he can release. I have enjoyed his music for sure. As for Ludacris and Lil Jon, eh? Who knows what they are doing lately. I know they both collaborated again for a song off Confessions 2 this year, but aside that, I don't actually know much of what they are doing. If you enjoy their work, let me know what they are doing these days. But yes, Usher's sequel I look forward to. I may not listen to much of his work as often as I used to, but he sure knew how to work a beat. Alrighty then, so now we come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed yourselves and I look forward to your input on this work and others I have taken a look at down below. I have been your host Natty, get crunk responsibly, and I wish you well. Take care and farewell.